Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. Now, iOS 15.3 has just been released, bringing just a few minor changes, but some really, really important fixes for iOS 15. So of course, everyone should update to this software right away. Now that is really, really important. But another thing that is important is the settings on your device. Always make sure that you have the settings configured the right way in order to get better performance, better privacy, and overall a better experience on your iOS 15.3 device. Now, before we get into the video, just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps out a lot. We're right now over 300,000 subscribers, but again, most of you guys that are watching the videos are currently not subscribed, so make sure you do that. Now, we're starting things off with the first setting that I believe every user should be aware of and always make sure that you have enabled. Go to settings, general, and software update. Always make sure that you have automatic updates enabled right here. Download and install updates. As you probably have noticed with iOS 15.3, there's a bug in Safari that has been fixed that is really, really bad. It can actually leak your data, your Google ID, and all that. So you always need to be updated to the latest iOS version. So in order to not just worry about that, everything will be done automatically. Make sure that you have these two settings turned on immediately on your device. Now with the software update, most of the time there will come a carrier update as well. So to make sure that you have your carrier updated and of course you get the best performance out of your seller, what you need to do is go to your settings, go to general and go to about. And right here, once you come here, you will most likely get a pop-up for a carrier update. That was usually happens when you update your device to a newer software. Usually there will be another update for your carrier. So always make sure to do that and check that setting every time you update your device to a new iOS version. Now with the new iOS 15.2 that has been released like a month ago, Apple has also introduced a new feature here to limit IP address tracking for your cellular data options. If you didn't change this setting on iOS 15.2, make sure to do it right now on iOS 15.3. So go to your settings, seller, seller data options, and make sure you have limit IP address tracking turned on from here. Now, of course, you will have to actually do the same for Safari as well. So go to Safari and go to hide IP addresses right here and make sure you choose from trackers here so that you actually block trackers from tracking you based on your IP address. That's really, really important. Always make sure that you check this setting right here and have it turned on. And of course, you will always want to enable prevent cross-site tracking. If you haven't already, make sure you do that here on Safari. That's another really important option that basically will stop trackers from tracking you from side to side. Now, if you use Safari as your default web browser, you probably will have a lot of tabs open at the same time. So what you want to do is automatically close them. Go to close tabs here under the Safari settings and make sure you choose one week or one day, one month, whichever fits you the best. But probably one week would be enough and probably is the best option out of these to choose here and all the tabs will be closed automatically so you don't experience a slower web browsing experience and all that stuff make sure you have this enabled and you don't need to worry about your tabs being opened all the time moving on to the mail settings we have also here a very very important setting you need to turn on it is called privacy protection go to privacy protection and make sure you enable this it's called protect mail activity you turn it on and basically what it does it just hides your ip address and will basically real and will load remote content privately in the background even when you don't open the message it makes it harder for senders to follow you and your mail activity this is really really important so make sure you have the setting turned on all the time a newer setting that has been added to iOS with iOS 15.2 as well. You probably have missed this, but it's actually really important. It is called call with five presses. So you know that when you press five times here on the side button and 90% of times it will be by accident, you will actually invoke the emergency SOS call. 
So what you want to do is disable it from here. Now you have the option to actually disable it, but you can still hold the side button, the side button here and one of the volume buttons to make the emergency call. But the five presses most of the time is actually accidental. I've done it a lot of times while maybe cleaning my device here. I made the SOS call without having to do that. And of course, this option here will make it much, much easier for you to don't do that mistake and just turn it off from here. You should always, of course, be concerned about the privacy and what access do different apps have on your device. Now to check that, go to privacy and you will have here really important things like your photos, your local network, really, really important Bluetooth, your camera, and of course your microphone as well. So go to any of these that you're concerned of, make sure you go ahead and check them and see which apps actually have access to these things on your iPhone, whether that be the microphone, the camera, the Bluetooth, or the local network here always make sure that you go ahead check these and turn off the ones that you feel like you don't want to have access to those things on your iphone now with the release of ios 15 we have a new system for notifications and of course we have scheduled summary which basically will just bring you notifications at a certain time of the day and not show you notifications all the time but there are apps that of course need to have this option enabled which i'm about to show you guys right now like if we go to instagram right here and we enable scheduled summary make sure that you always have the option for direct messages turned on what this does even though the other like notifications maybe for comments likes and all that will come on the scheduled summary you will actually get notifications separated when direct messages come to your account you will get the mess basically the notification right away you can do this for most of the messaging apps that you have on your iphone like the messenger maybe like whatsapp or stuff like that another really important thing that you should enable on your iphone is weather notifications for your location or any city that you might visit on something like that now this is really important especially now during winter time go to settings go to weather and from here what you need to do is go ahead and tap on notifications just go ahead and just scroll all the way down and tap right here weather notification settings this will take you to the weather app and from here you can enable notifications for your location or any of the cities that you have added to your cities list on the weather app. Now when basically there is maybe a storm or rain or something like that, you will get notified on your lock screen. And with the focus modes on iOS 15, you can set do not disturb or maybe personal, gaming, sleep, whatever you want, but you don't have to actually turn them on or off automatically. What you can do is go ahead and schedule them. You can just tap right here and you can choose the days of the week. And of course you can choose the time, enable this. And of course, at that certain time, you will get this focus mode enabled automatically on each of the days that you choose on your iPhone. And if you have a lot of Apple devices like an Apple Watch or an iPad or a MacBook, MacBook Air, whatever you have, you can have the focus mode shared across your devices. Just make sure you enable this button right here. All devices logged in into your iCloud account will have the same status, basically the same focus mode because you don't want to have one device, let's say, on Do Not Disturb and have a bunch of other devices giving you notifications and stuff like that. So make sure you have this enabled under the focus settings. To make sure that your device's battery will stay in better shape and of course that way also have better performance on your iPhone, always make sure that you have optimized battery charging enabled. So I had this device for over a year now and of course it has great battery health. The maximum capacity right now is at 96 that do to optimize battery charging always make sure you have this option enabled it is a lifesaver and of course will keep your battery in great great shape and last but not least if you use the apple podcast app you must do this go to settings go to podcast and right here you will find an option that says download when saving any episode on the podcast app that you save will be downloaded on your device that will take a ton of storage on your device so always make sure you have this enabled so of course the episodes can be just 
listen to online and you don't have to actually locally save any of them that's really an important option to enable so that's basically for this video guys these are 15 ios 15.3 settings that i believe every user should change immediately if you haven't already thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it of course don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one